Oh, there we go. There's the bell. All right. Okay, all right, so there's the bell. Go ahead, get started, and then, uh, let's see, we'll get started. So go ahead, do the do now, okay? Press pause. Okay, all right, here we go. So uh, let's find the, uh, it's not find perimeter. Oops, I forgot to change that. All right, just simplify. Okay, all right, so nothing too crazy. Again, I'm, I'm kind of banking on you being able to recognize that you could simply switch these two guys around, meaning you can write this. All right, you don't need to write the plus sign, okay? It's not necessary. But you have to write the negative or minus sign in the front of the three, okay? So knowing that now, they're both in the same family. Nothing new here. So 10x squared minus 3x squared. How many x squared is that? Yeah, 7x squared. Okay, that's it. All right. So let's see. Unit 7, day 23, uh, April 7th. Homework tonight. Same place. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. All right. Let's talk. Announcement. So uh, attendance. Okay. So... Yeah, if you're again, if you're in your homeroom, please continue to uh, go hand in your attendance, okay? Because it started yesterday already. It's official. I don't know why I need to spell out the word official, but I have a feeling some of you might even turn the sound off when you watch this video. So, all right. Uh, so take your homeroom attendance, okay? It's really important because I listen. I don't know how official that can be, okay? But it's as official as it gets right now for us okay so do that all right now if there are any changes in the future uh i'll also let you know okay but right now go on your google classroom for your respective homeroom teachers and uh, do your attendance uh friday homework okay so i'm not giving you a quiz this friday okay because the, well i mean i could give you a quiz but i don't want to so all right so you had two quizzes already. Um, yeah, so you had two quizzes already. One was one step equations, one was combining like terms. I'm, I'm gonna post a uh, some more practice questions because I'm getting some requests uh, to have some practice worksheets. So maybe by tomorrow, uh, I'll post some optional worksheets. It's still going to be on problematic with the exception that I'm going to have the answer key when you finish your quiz. Okay, so so that way you can know whether you got it right or not. All right, and it's not going to count for anything. All right, it's just for people who would like to practice. Okay, all right, so let's see. Uh, all right. I would like to continue to highlight how brilliant I am with this idea, but um, I was putting in your uh, quiz grades yesterday on the grade book, and uh, at first, you know, I had a lot of people who, you know, started off, right, writing their first name, last name, and this, and so things were going really fast. I mean, I, I, I think it's at least 50% faster than, uh, than how you know, with just your first names, it's all scrambled. And then by the, by probably two thirds of the way, uh, you know, I start having people who just write their first name, last name, and that slowed down significantly. Like it was noticeable. So do me a favor. Okay. Cause in the future quizzes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna up the ante. I'm gonna, I'm gonna instead of giving you two extra points, I'm gonna give you four extra points. Cause I really have to encourage you guys to follow directions. Write down the homeroom first, first name, and then last name in all caps. Okay, so first name, and then last name in all caps. So that way I could look at, I could scan through the homeroom, right? I could stay on the same page, and then I could just look at your last name and then find it and then give you a grade. Okay, so please, please, please do me a favor. Okay, it really helps. It's like, you have no idea how boring and tedious it is to like go through but like I have to really concentrate at the same time like it really like it hurts my eyes like staring at like 130 names and then having to remember what homeroom they're in and then putting putting you know the grades in their resp respective places it's crazy 
All right. Okay. So late homeworks. If you have late homeworks, hand them in. All right. Uh, don't skip questions. Okay. Uh, I emailed a grade yesterday. Okay. So I got uh, a lot more emails back. All right. Which is totally understandable. All right. Just given the situation that we're in. All right. Uh, I talked about grade book changes yesterday. So we're done with that. Uh, Unfortunately, I have to hold off talking about spring break until tomorrow uh, because I think there are still things set in motion and still things being negotiated uh, between a lot of different people. So, and I don't want to jump ahead. Okay, so it's going to have to be tomorrow, which is, you know, uh, the last day before spring break, right? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, so let's begin today's lesson now. How are we doing on time? All right, so go ahead, watch your one Gulitama for the day. And uh, today we're going to carry on with what we did yesterday. Okay, let's see. Um, all right, so let's see where, where have we been so far. Uh, yeah, did that. We did all of these. I gave you the practice yesterday at the end, all right, because we had a little bit of extra time and I didn't want to do the next part. Okay, and then you did this also, right? Distributing fractions. Oh, okay, all right, write this down. Okay, so pause for a moment, write this down. This is what we're going to do today distribute and combine, all right, and I'm going to show you what that all means. Okay, so let me move this to the middle. All right, so copy this example down. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, all right. Now, here you're going to distribute, right? So imagine, now how do I cover this? I don't know. So let's see. Let me see if I could use that special spotlight. Does that even work? Uh, where is the spotlight? I don't think it exists. Is that right? Do you know? Uh, okay, I don't have it. All right, I used to have it. So let's say, right, I'm covering this up. Hmm. Let's say this doesn't exist, right? What will you be doing right now if that doesn't exist? Yeah, you would do the double rainbow thing, right? So you would go like this. And by going like this, what you're saying is I'm going to multiply it, right? So if that's the case, then 4 times 3x is 12x, right? Nothing crazy. Plus, plus 4 times 4 is 16. However, that's really not the question, right? Because I'm not just asking you to distribute. So look at this then. So now it appears that we would have to bring this guy down, right? The minus 2x. Now look at this. OMG. What topic is this? That's right. Combining like terms, right? How do you know? Who's in the same family? These two are. Right, and this one's not. So you combine like terms, right? So 12x minus 2x, that's 10x plus 16. And that's it. So in other words, we're not just taking using distributive property anymore. We're taking that and putting combining like terms with it. So you see why we have to learn combining like terms first, right? Because in the example like this, after you distribute, you would have to combine. That's why we have to do that's why we have to do combining like terms first. Alright, so this is like this is like walking. Right? And this is like running. Right? You have to learn how to walk before you run. So that's the same analogy. Okay. So that, so this is a very clear example of how a lot of times in math, the the, the series, the way in which you teach the lessons are very important. You have to teach certain things first. Now, some of you say, hey, wh what about combine and distribute? Does that exist? Not often. All right. I would say in what you need to know right now, next year and the year after in eighth grade, 
it's almost always distribute first. So as a matter of fact, in seventh grade, the order goes something like this. You distribute first, right? You combine like terms. And then in the seventh grade, you will solve. What are you solving? You're going to solve this as an equation. So what does that look like? It might look something like this. Let's see what I like something like this. Okay. And then you would solve it like an equation. Okay. So this is the order distribute, combine, and then solve in this exact order. Okay. All right. Now, having said that, uh, let's. Hmm. Okay. I'll show you the video tomorrow. Should I show you the video right now? I hold on. Let me think real quick. No, it's all right. Let me, let me, let me handle this. Okay, so here we got a, a gazillion examples. So let's do these one by one. Okay, so let me show you this one more time. So go ahead, write this, right? Distribute and combine. If you want, you can just write the word practice. Okay, and then what we're going to do is I would like you to write this question down, and then we're going to go ahead and do it. Okay, all right, let's do this. So... Now, this is tricky. So don't think that you're distributing this like this. You can't. Why not? Because there's a plus sign here. It, this, this is not meant for the 3x. It's meant for the 2 here. So what I'm trying to say is I could put the 3x here, but I could also put the 3x here. So meaning I could put like plus 3x, something like that. Okay, so don't... Don't get confused here, okay? Um, let's do this then. Okay. So we distribute this guy here. Uh oh, I think I lost my magical powers. All right. All right, it's okay. So right, we distribute this here. So what does that mean? Rewrite, rewrite everything. Why? Because you're a cool kid. So 2 times x is 2x plus plus 2 times 5 is 10. See that? Right? Only this changed so far. 2x, 2 times in parentheses, x plus 5 becomes 2x plus 10. I'm just putting the 3x back in the front. Right? So, OMG, what topic is this? Yeah, combining like terms, right? So who's in the same family? Right, so 2x plus uh, 3x plus 2x, 5x plus 10, and that's it. Okay, all right. Now, knowing that, why don't you try this one on your own now? Okay, so I'll leave the example up here for you to refer to, should you need to. Let me make this a little small. All right, go ahead and try this one right now. Press pause. Okay, all right, so. Let's see, let's distribute, right? Now let's see if the let's see if the pen works. Okay, all right. Nope, nope. Right, again, same thing. Okay, so rewrite three n. Now three times one is three plus eight. Three times eight is twenty-four n. Who's in the same family? All right, right here, and right here. So what does that mean? So that's 3n. So you see how I'm doing the letters to first, right? Because letters come first, remember? 3n plus 24n is 27n plus 3. And there you have it. Okay? That's how you do it. All right, let's see. Now try this one on your own also. Okay. So press pause and try this one around. Okay, all right, let's see. Right. Oh, the rainbow's back, the magic's back. Okay, all right, so let's see. Uh, I'm gonna rewrite, right? X plus, right, two times five, that's 10. Uh, plus 
2 times x is 2x, right? You just put them right next to one another. So combining like terms. So what is that? x plus 2x. What's x plus 2x? If you got 1x, you got another 2x, how many x's you got? Right, 3x plus 10. Okay, yeah? Okay, all right. Now let's see, does it get any harder? Not really. Okay, try this next one on your own then. All right, what's going on here? Okay, all right, try this next one <coughs> on your own. So press pause. What happened? What did I just do? Okay, all right. And we're back, so let's see. No, oh, no, the magic's gone again. Okay, all right, so let's see. Now this one, you see how the, the that, that thing you have to combine at the end, it's actually at the end, not in the front, right? Like these three, okay? So six times y is six y, plus let's see, six four is 24, minus two y, right? So distribute, combine, What is that? 6y minus 2y, that's 4y plus 24. Okay, and that's how it's done. Okay, all right, let's do a couple more and then uh, tomorrow actually. Wait, hold on, I gotta show you this. And then Thursday, hey, what should I do? No, let's do these, let's do, let's just keep going. Okay, all right, so. What about this one? All right, try this one on your own. Oh, I oh, I know, I know what's coming. Okay, it's good, it's good. Okay, all right, try this one. Yep, okay, here we go. So, all right, let's, let's use different, let's use, not, let's not use rainbow anymore, all right? It's spring, let's use flowers. You can't see these flowers. How about this? All right, there we go. All right, flower and rainbow. Okay, all right. So, let's do this. Uh, what are we talking about here? So we got six, okay? The thing is again in the front this time. Six, we're gonna write six plus. So two times x is two x. Uh, two times negative one. I mean, no, I shouldn't say that, that's minus. Two times one is two. Okay. Let's see, it was in the same family, the numbers are. Okay, so six minus two, that's four, plus two x. Now you know how omaining wants his letters in the front, right? So you can just do two x plus four, same thing. Okay, all right, now what are we looking at? Oh, now it gets interesting. Okay, I knew it was gonna get interesting sooner, than, sooner or later. Okay, all right, now. How is this one different from everything we've done so far today? How is this one different? Do you guys notice? Okay, you know what? If you don't notice, let's do this first. Okay, how about that? So again, let's get the, let's get us let's get, a, what is this? Create a pen. All right, let's use the flower again. So we're going to leave this alone, leave this alone. This is the thing you got to distribute. Right, so what does that mean? Well, we that means we got to do that first. So, okay, all right, so I'm gonna rewrite these two terms up here first, okay? And we rewrite because we're all really cool kids. So, plus now three times two x, what's three times two x? Yeah, six x, right? Minus three times one is three. Now, look again, how is this different from? each one of these. How is this, this different from these four? How are they different? Yeah, there's an extra term here, right? Because all these guys you notice have three terms. I threw an extra term in there, which was this. This was the extra term here. So again, find the same family. Let's see.
Okay, so 4 minus 3, that's 1, right? Uh, 2x plus 6x is 8x plus 8x, or old man ink style, 8x plus 1, okay? All right, now I have a feeling, or at least I'm hoping, that the next one will look something like this. And, oh, this one's great. Oh, man, this one is awesome. Who about this one? Try this one. Oh, no, actually, yeah. let's do this one together. Now, what's, how's this one different from anything up here? Have you noticed? What's going on? How is this last one here different from anything you've done today? Yeah, there are two parentheses, right? So you know what that means. So we're now going to have a double, double rainbow. So we don't just have a double rainbow. We have a double, double rainbow, which means there are four rainbows. All right. Let's make this happen. Look at this. Uh, it's glorious. Okay. So that's what that means. All right. So what is that? So what are we? Oh, the computer is kind of stuck. What's going on? Okay. All right. So now that means you got to do two distributive properties, right? Let's, so let's do that first, one step at a time. So seven times one is seven plus plus seven times 10p, 70p plus right here, right? Eight times one. That's eight plus six p. That's forty-eight p, right? Now look at this, right? Combining like terms, nothing's changed. So let's combine like terms. Again, notice how I've not uh, what deviated from what I said at the beginning of the lesson today, right? Distribute, combine. Okay, notice everything is distributing and then combining, right? So all this is distributing, all this is combining. Okay, having said that, uh, let's do, I'm running out of space, so let's do the letters first. So 70p plus 48p, what is that? 111, 118p, right? And then plus 15, okay? All right, now let's see how much more difficult this is going to get. Let me see. How many more? Wow, we got a lot more. Okay, all right. Yeah, I think that's all the time we got for today for these. Okay, all right. Try, you know, try these two on your own. Okay, I want to show you the uh, the greatest of all questions. Okay, all right. So press pause, try these two. Okay, all right. So let's see. Let's get that big rainbow going. All right, unless you guys want something else. Oh, let's get smiley faces, all right? We could use more smiley faces. Okay, all right, here we go. Right, distribute. It's a little harder to see, but I mean, I'm assuming by this stage, you know what I'm doing. Okay, so we'll distribute the smiley faces here. And then, uh, now what does that mean? Okay, so 10 times three is 30 plus 10 times 8k, that's 80k, plus 9 times k is 9k, plus 9 times 3 is what, 27? Okay, I'm going to combine like terms. Let's see. So and so. So and so, all right, that means the answer. Let's see. All right, again, I'm running out of space, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the letters first. So that's 89K plus 57. Okay, all right, this last one, all right, let's pick something interesting. Is there anything else that's interesting? Let's see, I could use a paint, uh, no one cares about paintbrushes. Shape note, crayon note. Mm, all right, let's go back to creative. What else is there? I mean, we could use these. Let's see how they'll look. All right. So okay. All right. I don't know. I don't know what to call these. All right. So let's see. There we go. Now. 
What are we gonna do now? Yep, two times x is two x plus two plus three times two x is six x minus three times four is twelve, right? And so that means combining like terms. What does that what does that mean? 2x plus 6x is 8x. Now this is tough. I did not realize this. Okay. For 2 minus 12, first of all, it's not positive 10. Okay, just so you know. So I'm gonna give you the analogy. If you have two dollars, okay, even though it's technically impossible, okay. Well on, on the face of it, it's not possible. Let's say you have two dollars, you spend twelve. Or you borrow twelve. How much money do you still have? Think about it like that. Or let's say you know what you're. Um, let's think number line. Okay, so remember, remember in class when we did the activity with uh, London, Paris, Rio, and Hong Kong. Remember that people, four people had the cards up, and we had a change in temperature. Remember that activity. So if you're at two degrees right now, and you and the temperature dropped twelve degrees. Where are you on the number line? One more time. If you're at 2 degrees right now and the temperature dropped 12 degrees, where are you? Yep, you're at negative 10. Okay, so that's, that's what that is. Okay, now, typically I would make this the bonus question. All right, and if you get it, I will, pro I will what is it, pronounce you. I will pronounce you as the greatest of all time. All right, but we're not in class right now, so I can't actually pick on somebody to be the greatest of all time all right and uh so go ahead and try this one this one's tough all right this one's no joke how are we doing on time oh yeah perfect time yeah this is about it actually we're probably a little bit old hey by the way so i'm not sometimes i know that for i know that for different people they take a little they take different amount of time to finish a lesson and i know that there are times when I go over the limit and I'm completely aware of that. So that's why sometimes some lessons when we're at like a natural stopping place, I would stop early if I have to, okay? Because I, I'm trying to balance and even everything else. So I I don't want you to think that I'm not aware of that, okay? So, and I think, I think given the quiz grades, I think you guys are all doing fantastic, okay? And I'm very proud of you guys. So keep it up, okay? You guys are doing fantastic. Okay, all right. So let's see now. This one should I use the uh, should I use something in gold? Even though it's not gold, it's just yellow. Uh, no, there's no gold there. Pink brush. Yeah, let's use pink brush. All right, let's let's live a little. Okay, so this one I don't know if you remember. But with the order of operations, you have to start at the innermost parentheses. So there's going to be a lot of rewriting here, okay? Because there's there's PEMDAS involved there. So you can't you guys can't see that. Okay, let's use this gold. All right. Okay, this is not great. I gotta tell you, this is terrible. Actually, hold on. Let's try again. Is this better? Oh, I like it. It's like reading a children's book. I should use this more often. <laughs> oh man! All right. If I knew how to draw, I would I would use this to draw something. But I have zero drawing skills. All right. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What does that mean? Now that means I gotta rewrite everything, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna rewrite it down here. Okay, because we got the space anyway. So I'm gonna rewrite rewrite this here. Two plus two. In parentheses x plus and I'm gonna stop here because I got two times x right that's two x don't forget two times two that's four see that now you're you have a dilemma here you could combine like terms first that's up to you okay as a matter of fact that's what we're gonna be doing tomorrow But right now, let's just stick with distributive prop. You know, no, we should combine like terms because I I don't want you to have three rainbows here. So I'm gonna combine like terms. I'm gonna write another step. So the two, the plus, 
the 2, and I'm going to combine like terms first. So x plus 2x, right? I should use a different color. That's okay. x plus 2x is 3x plus 4. Okay, now let's use the rainbow. So we got to distribute again. So this looks very much like everything we've done today. Okay, so let's go back to the paintbrush. Go a little, okay. Okay, all right, using this paintbrush really cheered me up today. I don't know why, it's just, it's so cool looking. It reminds me of children's book. Okay, all right, so that's two plus, right? So two times three X is six X. Two times four is eight. Yeah, next step, combining like terms again. Like terms. No, 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 no. That's not a like term. These two are like terms, right? That means that this is 2 plus 8. That's 8 plus 6x. Now, you know what O Manning wants, right? He wants the letter in the front, and that's how you do it, okay? So that's it, all right? That's the lesson today. Um, if you get it, all right, fantastic. I'm gonna, let's see, what does the homework, the homework isn't at this level tonight. So maybe for tomorrow's homework, I'm gonna give you these like really crazy questions, okay? Uh, just to see how you guys do. Okay, so, all right, fantastic job today. How are we doing? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're probably a little, ran a little over time, but it's okay. Okay, all right, fantastic. Have a good day, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay. Oh, there we go. There's the bell. All right. Don't tell me you don't miss that bell. OMG, that was so good.